Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. Earlier today on Thursday September 1st, the 22-23 hockey season officially got underway as the Continental Hockey League took to the ice for the first time in five months and dropped the puck for its latest year of play. Now while the KHL isn't the most popular league across the hockey world right now, for obvious and pretty understandable reasons of course, and while many of its foreign player base have decided to take their talents elsewhere this year, there's still a sizable number of NHL alumni that are suiting up in the K. And since I have highlighted the most notable players amongst them for several seasons now, why not keep up the tradition and make an updated list for this year too? So in today's video, allow me to take you through my list of the top 10 former NHL who are playing in the Continental Hockey League during the 22-23 season. Kicking things off at number 10, we have Mikhail Grigorenko. The first of many Russian-born players to be featured on this list, Mikhail Grigorenko is eager to clinch another championship after lifting the trophy earlier this year. The 12th overall pick of the 2012 NHL Draft by the Buffalo Sabres, Grigorenko played parts of five seasons in the league, where he scored 26 goals and 76 points in 249 NHL games for his efforts. After a brief return to the NHL during the 2021 season, the Russian forward rejoined KHL side CSKA Moscow for the recent 21-22 season, where he helped Moscow go all the way and clinch the 2022 Gagarin Cup as KHL playoff champions. Not a bad way to return home, eh folks? Since then, Grigorenko has returned to Moscow's lineup for the 22-23 season, and given how last year concluded, both the player and the organisation seem pretty happy to keep this partnership going for a sixth season of play. And who knows, perhaps Grigorenko will produce another strong season for Moscow and help the team clinch another championship by the end of the year. Crazier things have happened, right guys? Next up at number 9 we have Mark Barbario. One of only two defencemen to be featured in this video, Mark Barbario is embarking on his first full KHL season following a brief stint in the league last year. A sixth round pick by the Tampa Bay Lightning in 2008, Barbario played 272 NHL games over parts of eight seasons in the league, where he potted 14 goals and 56 points for his efforts. Once his NHL career had concluded, the Canadian defenceman spent the following season and a half in Switzerland before finishing the recent 21 22 season in the KHL with perennial cup contender Akbars Kazan. This season though, Barbario has joined Belarusian side Dinamo Minsk, where he will look to make a strong first impression for his new team and prove that he can hold his own in the K over an entire season of play. Will he be able to do so? I guess time will tell. Moving on to number 8, we have Dmitry Yaskin. Another player who has rejoined the KHL after a brief return to North America, Dmitry Yaskin is looking to pick up right where he left off during his previous tenure in Russia. A second round pick by the St. Louis Blues in 2011, Yaskin played parts of seven seasons in the NHL, where he scored 27 goals and 69 points in 315 games during that span. After a brief return to the show during the recent 21-22 season, and after playing a dozen games with the Arizona Coyotes, the Czech forward decided to return to Russia for the 22-23 season, as he signed a one-year contract with KHL side SKA St. Petersburg on July 25th, 2022. Having joined his second KHL team for his third season in the league, both SKA and Yaskin will be looking for the forward to return to his high scoring play of years past, and given his productive performance during preseason, both parties might just get their wish. I mean the guy led the entire KHL in goal scoring just two seasons ago, anything less than a 30 goal year will be seen as a bitter disappointment. At the seventh spot on this list we have Alexander Bermistrov, one of the more experienced KHL players in this video, Alexander Bermistrov is spending another year of his career back with his hometown team. The 8th overall pick of the 2010 draft by the Atlanta Thrashers, Bermistrov suited up in 348 NHL games over parts of 6 seasons, where he potted 37 goals and 101 points for his efforts. Having spent the last 4 years in the KHL, Bermistrov is returning to Akbar's Kazan for the 22-23 season, the team he has spent the last 2 years with and who he won his first Gagarin Cup with back in 2018. Since he is entering his 7th year with the team 
and since Kazan is his hometown side, I doubt that Bumistrov has any intentions of leaving the organization anytime soon. And if he is able to help Kazan win another Gagarin Cup championship, I doubt he'll even have to, you know? And who said you can't go home? Next, at number six, we have Ryan Spooner. A regular entry on this list pretty much every single year now, Ryan Spooner is eager to produce another successful season in the KHL. A second round pick by the Boston Bruins in 2010, Spooner spent parts of seven seasons in the show, where he scored 48 goals and 167 points in 325 NHL games during that span. After spending the recent season of play with KHL side Avto Mobilist Ekaterinburg, the Canadian forward has returned to a familiar franchise, as he has rejoined Belarusian side Dinamo Minsk for the 22-23 KHL season. Since he had spent his prior two seasons with Minsk before his move to Russia, and since he was one of Dinamo's most productive players during that span, Spooner will be expected to pick up right where he left off and continue scoring at roughly a point per game pace over the coming months. After all, he was one of the most consistent scorers across the entire KHL during each of those two seasons. I would be genuinely surprised if he wasn't able to do the exact same thing this year too. Halfway through this list now, at number five, we have Nail Yakupov. One of the worst first overall draft picks the NHL has ever seen, Nail Yakupov is continuing to carve out a respectable pro career while back home in Russia. The first overall pick of the 2012 draft by the Edmonton Oilers, Yakupov suited up in 350 NHL games over parts of six seasons, where he scored 62 goals and 136 points during that span. After leaving North America behind in 2018, the Russian forward spent the next few years playing for a pair of KHL teams before joining avant-garde Omsk midway through the 2021 season, where he helped his new side clinch their first KHL championship in franchise history as as they lifted the 2021 Gagarin car. Since then, Yakupov remained with the avant-garde organization during the recent 21-22 season, and he will continue to suit up for the team during the 22-23 season too, as he has rejoined Omsk's roster for his third year with the franchise. Now sure, he's never developed into the generational talent that he was once expected to become, and he's never quite lived up to his draft ranking, but Nail Yakupov has found a name for himself as a reliable middle six forward in one of the top hockey leagues in the world, and he has even got his hands on a playoff championship too. It might not be the Stanley Cup, but he certainly could have done a lot worse for himself, you know? Moving on to number four, we have Cedric Paquette. The only entry on this list to have been crowned a Stanley Cup champion, Cedric Paquette will be looking to make a strong first impression during his debut year in the KHL. A fourth round pick by the Tampa Bay Lightning in 2012, Paquette played parts of nine seasons in the show, where he scored 51 goals and 95 points in 448 NHL games during that span. Not only that, he also got his hands on the greatest trophy in the sport, as he won the 2020 Stanley Cup as a member of the Lightning. Not bad for a fourth round draft pick, eh, folks? Having spent the 21-22 season in the Montreal Canadiens organization, and having split his time between the major and the minors, the Canadian forward decided to take his talents overseas for the current season of play, as he signed a one-year contract with KHL side Dinamo Minsk on August 26, 2022. From there, Paquette has made the move across the pond for the first time in his career, and he is suiting up in his debut season in the KHL. Though he is about to embark on his debut year overseas, and though it may take him some time to adjust to the differing style of play, Paquette's wealth of experience and his reliable skill set should be more than enough to help him find his feet sooner rather than later. I mean, the guy spent nearly a decade of his career in the best league in the world, and he won the greatest trophy in the sport less than three years ago. I think he'll be just fine, okay? Next up at number three, we have Alexei Emelin. One of the most decorated KHL players on this this list, Alexei Emelin is embarking on a brand new challenge during the 22-23 season. A third round pick in 2004 by the Montreal Canadiens, Emelin suited up in 456 NHL games over parts of seven seasons, where he potted 15 goals and 81 points during that span. After spending the last four seasons with Avangard Omsk, and having captained the team to their first Gagarin Cup back in 2021, the Russian defenseman left the organization behind and elected to move elsewhere, as he signed a one-year contract with fellow KHL side Dinamo Minsk on July 
26th, 2022. God, there's been a lot of Dynamo Minsk players in this video, hasn't there? Despite changing teams for the first time in half a decade, the 36 year old is expected to be a steady presence on Dynamo's blue line, provide vital leadership both on the ice and in the locker room, and help Minsk finally lift their first KHL championship too. Given that he led a team to the promised land less than two years ago now, and given that he has won three Gagarin Cups during his career, if anyone can help them do it, Alexei Emelin can. Penultimately, at number two, we have Alexander Radulov. One of the most successful players in this video, at both the NHL and the KHL level, Alexander Radulov is returning to Russia to further cement his place in the KHL's record books. The 15th overall pick of the 2004 draft by the National Predators, Radulov played parts of nine seasons in the show, where he scored 144 goals and 368 points in 524 NHL games for his efforts. Having spent the last six seasons in North America, and having seen his production take a sizable hit over the last few years, the Russian forward decided to head home, as he signed a two-year contract with Akbar's Kazan on July 14th, 2022. Though he is returning to Russia for the first time in seven years, Radulov is no stranger to the KHL. In fact, the forward spent eight years in the league between 2008 and 2016, was known as one of the best players across the entire league during that span, and won a treasure trove of individual awards too. Oh, and not only that, Radulov's outstanding performance also earned him a respectable place in the league's record books, as his 169 goals and 492 points in just three 391 KHL games, rank him 3rd all time in assists, 5th all time in points, and 11th all time in goals in KHL history. Considering he was able to do all that while also playing over 500 games and scoring over 300 points in the NHL too, Alexander Radulov has produced one hell of a pro hockey career, eh folks? Since he has joined Kazan for the foreseeable future, and since he has produced so much success in the KHL, I expect that Radulov will continue to produce impressive scoring numbers for Kazan, and climb even higher up the league's all-time scoring list. Sure, he may be 36 years old now, but even if he plays half as good as his first stint in the K, he will still be better than the vast majority of his contemporaries. So look out folks, the Radulov Revenge Tour is only just getting started. And finally at number one, we have Nikolai Kuhlerman. The most experienced NHL player in this video, Nikolai Kuhlerman takes the top spot on this list thanks to his long and successful career on both sides of the pond. A second round pick by the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2006, Kuhlerman suited up in 669 NHL games over parts of 10 seasons in the league, where he scored 121 goals and 274 points during that span. After spending three seasons with Metalurg Magnitogorsk between 2018 and 2021, the Russian forward would join fellow KHL side Salavat Yuleyev for the recent 21-22 season, where he bounced back in a big way and returned to his respectable point production from years past. In fact, Kuhlerman performed so well that he is returning to Salavat's roster for the 22-23 season. Though his best years are clearly behind him now, and he is approaching the twilight of his career, the 36-year-old still has plenty of gas left in the tank, so he should produce another strong season if everything goes to plan, and he should help Salavat remain in the hunt for another KHL championship. So, will Kuhlerman lead Salavat to the promised land, and will he finally get his hands on his first Gagarin Cup? I guess we'll have to wait and see. And on that note, I'm going to end today's video. Those were the top 10 former NHLers who are playing in the Continental Hockey League during the 22-23 season. What do you guys think about my list? Are you surprised to see some of the names that were mentioned, or did I leave somebody completely obvious out? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! A big thank you to Bexy93, Burned Retinas, Clayton Hallam, Drew Fawcett, Houston NG, Raquel, and Worthless Pieces for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further, and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.